There's actually been quite a bit of interesting IPv6 news recently. Round one, fight. We tweeted earlier this week that NXP and Green Wave Reality have gone off the V6 deep end, coming up with their green chip smart lighting system, which intends to manage energy consumption by giving every single light bulb an IP address. Apparently they're not the first, Redwood Systems got there a while back with enabling IPv6 on controllers for lights and LEDs, but NXP is definitely riding the V6 publicity wave at the moment. A study by Sandbine has shown that Netflix is now the single largest source of internet traffic in North America, with 29.7% of peak downstream traffic. Not only is Netflix.com V6 enabled, but their video streaming is as well. Streaming video and streaming music account for half of all downstream internet traffic. About a fifth of downstream traffic is peer-to-peer -peer file sharing and another fifth for web browsing. Having these larger services available over V6 is then crucial to the average user. In other news, Verizon has joined the participants list for World IPv6 Day on June 8th. IPv6 services are of course nothing new to Verizon, a network which, like Hurricane Electric, has supported v6 connectivity for over a decade. Those of you familiar with the different builds of Google Chrome know that there are certain features and fixes that make it into early experimental builds. Recently, an update was available for IPv6 in the Canary build of Google Chrome that implements a variant of Parallel Connect that reduces latency of broken IPv6 connections. That update has just made it into the Stable build of Google Chrome. While the site or network may still cause brokenness in other browsers, in Chrome there is a fallback socket connect for IPv6 that will hide potentially long v6 connect timeouts by starting a second socket connect that uses the primary v4 address for a hostname. Whichever socket connects first is used. Here's hoping more and more browsers find ways to improve user experience while still preferring IPv6.